so today I have got a haul for you. There is some skincare in there, some maybe one accessory, and lots of clothes, mostly underwear, I think. And please subscribe if you are new here. I will leave the link on screen and in the down bar below for you. So in my little skincare section, I have got, I'm gonna start with the um, castor oil. I think I mentioned that I bought this in one of my recent makeup videos, but I have used this about three, four times, and I've definitely seen improvement already. Just in the really fine hairs, right underneath where I need to grow the hair. So it definitely is working, I just need to stick with it. This was 9 I think as well, and this was from Holland and Barrett. The second one is the La Mer, Creme de La Mer, and this is the soft cream. This is what I splashed out on and spent all my money on this month, so now I'm poor again, um, but this was definitely worth it. This is the only cream that doesn't break me out, but leaves my skin really soft and hydrated to the right level. I'd love to get the Regenerative Serum, which is also amazing. Third thing I've got then is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I was applying way too much of this when I started and this was breaking me out, but I realized that when it says like one to two drops, that is actually all I need. One to two drops, massage it in my face and my skin feels like it's brand new in the morning. I would definitely, definitely recommend this. Um, I can't remember the price of this, but I mean, that is gonna last me forever and a day, the size that it is if I'm only using one to two tiny drops every night. On to my accessories. Can we just talk about how amazing this bag is? This was from Primark, and this was seven pounds. I actually saw this in there a while ago and didn't like it for some reason. And then I walked past it and was like, yes, yes, I need this bag, it's amazing. And it's got gold detailing on the sides, it's a flap clutch, and it has two sections, so a front section and a back section, and a little zip at the back with a gold chain that comes out that obviously you can keep inside if you would like to. Loving that in my life. On to clothing. I'm late to the party with this, but this was from Urban Outfitters. This was £19, and I got this in an extra small. I think I should have brought a small instead, but it's stretchy material anyways. But I think I would like to wear this it's a beautiful springtime colour, but I'd like to wear it with um, like high-waisted skirts and white denim shorts, things like that, and it's quite low at the back as well. And I'm going to be doing a blog post soon, I think, with this on, so you can see exactly what it looks like. Okay, the next thing that I got from Primark was this little crop top. It's got a cross front detail here and just a bandeau back, and this was, I don't know if people say prices on this. But this was £6 from the UK Primark and I got this in a size... Oh my god! Why have I picked up a size 12? Did you not read the label? I thought it was on a hanger that said 8. What? Read the label. Oh. Dude. Well that's not good. Well maybe I can take it in. Anyway, I bought this to wear with this skirt that hopefully I've got in the right size. This is a high-waisted skirt um, from Primark and this cost eight pounds. This is in a size eight, this is in the correct size. Well done me. <laughs> um, but this is, I'm going to wear this as a high-waisted skirt and it's sort of got a mini skirt underneath and then a sheer slip over the top, I think. And then there are slips that come up to just I would say just about your above the knee maybe, how I'm going to wear this, but yes, I did buy this to wear with this on the top, but yeah, I think I've left it too late to exchange now as well. Yeah. And that will also be in the blog post soon if you would like to see me wearing that. Another crop top then I got from Urban Outfitters. Um, this was £20 and I was Emily and R in whether to get this because of the price. Um, but I haven't seen anything in this colour and I was thinking, oh, I need it. It was one of those things that you walk past and you just can't leave with. Um, yes, I got this in a size small. Um, it is really small though and I need to take this back and get a medium because it is so tiny, as you can see. 
this is fit for like a 12 year old. But I absolutely love the colour, I'd also love to wear this in the summer with high waisted jeans or high waisted skirt again. From H&M then in a size 8 this costs $14.99 and these are some cute little shorts and they are just have an elasticated waist and then a little bit of lace detailing at the bottom which I thought was really sweet because I need more shorts in my life, more sort of nice girly looking shorts instead of just denim shorts. Yeah, I thought they were quite cute. Next is all underwear and all of this is from H&M. So I picked these up by look, not size, purely because some of them just looked really small. So this is a size 10 and there's a big piece of dog hair hanging up it. Blush. Um, this was 12 .99 and it's a little, what is this? Like a triangle bikini I think it might be. Might even be a bikini top, you know. I may just be thinking, no it says soft bra, soft bra, um, yeah and it's just got some little lace detail on the side. Then this is a size 36, it says Euro 36 on it, uh, which I'm not quite sure what size that is, um, but this is a really funky little bra top and it says I woke up like this. And then to go with those I found this three pack of pants that say who run on the world who run this world who run who run this world um so they're in gray in black and in palm leaf print with more hair on it palm leaf print but i thought they were fab and if you watched my last haul you would have seen the stationery that i bought so i went back to Sainsbury's and picked up a few matching items so this is a divider and i have put some of the little, what are they called? They're not claw clips, are they? I don't know what clips they are. Um, and I put them on there with a little bit of gold tape, saying the letter for each month, so I can put receipts and things in there. So these, I then got some tape, so there is a pink, a gold, and a, and a floral. A hardback book that says Daydreamer on it in gold. And this little number, which I thought was really pretty, with pink And that is the end of my haul. I have been vlogging a lot recently. If you want to go over and check that out, I will leave a little link to that here and in the description bar below for you. I'm going to trial changing my upload days to a Tuesday and a Thursday. I'm going to try and do three videos of it a week and get it up on a Sunday as well. If I can't, it will just be Tuesday and Thursday. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. Let me know if you've bought any exciting items recently. I can't wait to read your comments and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Right then. Who run this number? Ooh.